You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So Dominaria is here, and this week we kick off Dominaria Standard with probably the most hype tribe from the set. That's right, we are playing Sapperlings, green, black Sapperlings, and while the tribe might look a little weird on paper, I think it's actually a lot better than people give it credit for. Not saying it's like a tier one tribe or anything like that, but it's better than it looks, and it actually has some really powerful things going on. So, as you can see, 79 bucks in the paper world, 31 ticks on Magic Online, so a pretty sweet price for a super cool deck. A quick reminder before we break down Sapperlings for Standard. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Sapperling, starting with the lords of the deck. And these are kind of the key cards that make the deck work. Metallic Mimic and Spore Crown Thalid. And both of these cards are super, super powerful in our deck. So Metallic Mimic comes down, named Sapperling. Then whenever another Sapperling enters a battlefield, it puts a counter on it. And that is a really big benefit because even if Metallic Mimic dies, those counters stay on. So it kind of works like a better lord in some situations than a typical lord like Spore Crown Thalid which pumps all of our stuff immediately and the stuff that's already on the battlefield, but if it dies, we lose that benefit. The other nice thing about this is Metallic Mimic actually becomes a Sapperling, which means it benefits from Spore Crown Thalid and our other Sapperling synergy, so a nice little upside there. But we want to stack up Lords on the battlefield, and then our big payoff, the card that just kind of closes out the game, is Tender Shoot Dryad. So Tender Shoot Dryad in this deck, because we are really good at putting multiple permanents on the battlefield with one card, Card, often comes down on turn five, already with Ascend, pluses all of our Sapperlings plus two plus two, which is massive. Suddenly our one ones are three threes, and that's not even counting our other lords, so just a massive, massive boost. And then, if it sticks on the battlefield, it is close to unbeatable. It's making a Sapperling every turn, which is a three three why it's out. Another one, another one. And it's making it on our turn and our opponent's turn, so every turn cycle, we're getting two of those. That's adding six power and toughness to the battlefield as long as it stays out. And those tokens are sometimes even bigger because of Metallic Mimic and Spore Crown Thalid. So, our lords are what make the deck work. The other part of the deck is just getting Sapperlings on the battlefield. So kind of the two key cards here are Sapperling Migration and Spore Swarm. These are cards that put multiple Sapperlings on the battlefield. So Sapperling Migration, basically just a raise the alarm for Sapperlings. Two one ones for two mana. However, it has Kicker. So if we get up to six mana, we can make four. So it's some nice flexibility. It's fine in the early game. It's even better in the late game. So if we flood out, making four tokens is nice. And remember, we're getting plus one, plus one counters on them, we're pumping them with Tender Shoot Dryad. Also, the tokens themselves are counting towards Ascend for Tender Shoot Dryad. Spore Swarm, on the other hand, instant speed, nice upside, three tokens for four mana, a pretty fine deal on curve nicely when Tender Shoot Dryad. So, kind of like the nut curve of this deck, is something like Metallic Mimic on turn two, into Sapperling Migration on turn three, into Spore Swarm, end of our opponent's turn four, untap, Tender Shoot Dryad, and just the biggest, hugest board full of Sapperlings we have Ascend win the game. Kind of feeling out the curve, we have Yamaya Safford and Death Bloom Thalid. Very similar cards. Safford, Fungus, makes a 1-1 Sapperling when it enters the battlefield, so two bodies on the battlefield as far as Ascend. Death Bloom is like the opposite. It's a Fungus. It gets one more power, so it's a 3-2, but it makes a Sapperling when it dies. In our deck, Safford is better because we want those tokens on the battlefield to pump up our Tender Shoot Dryad. We really just want things that put multiple things on the battlefield. So Safford, better than Death Bloom. I can see Death Bloom being better and maybe an Aristocrat style Sapperling deck. And speaking of aristocrats, we do have that as an alternate way of closing out the game. So we're not Sapperling or Wistocrats, but we do have Slime Foot the Stowaway. We do have Fungal Plots. So if we get our opponent down to, you know, a few life points, maybe they got five life left, we can always play Slime Foot, use Fungal Plots to sacrifice our Sapperlings, drain our opponent out of the game. Slime Foot itself is reasonable. It's not super powerful, but if the game goes long, it can make Sapperlings. The draining is a nice upside, just incidental life gain, incidental damage. Fungal Plots, on the other hand, can 
be a little hit or miss. It doesn't work well with our sapperling token makers because they're not putting creatures in our graveyard. But still, if the game goes long, gaining a little life here or there, making some extra sapperlings, and then eventually combo killing with Slimefoot makes it worth a couple of slots in our deck. Otherwise, our utility spells, we got two blossoming defense, mostly to protect our lords, protect our tender shoot dryad. If we can keep tender shoot dryad on the battlefield, it's really hard to lose the game. Vicious offering is kind of our premier removal spell because we make so many tokens, it's pretty easy for us to sack a random sapperling to give something negative five, negative five, which means we're killing hazards, we're killing scarab gods, we're killing glory bringers. Plus, we can always just use it in the early game to kill a land or elves or something. And then our glory, way to get rid of hazard scarab god forever, those hard to deal with threats, basically our budget Veraska's contempt. In the mana base, it's pretty straightforward. Eight total black green dual lands, field of ruin, kind of another mana fixer, a terramorphic expanse, evolving wilds type card, also deals with the flip lands. Archer of Raska, because we turn on Ascend, just a one of, but if the game goes long, drawing the extra turn can be really key. Some basic lands. In the sideboard, we have a bunch more removal. Golden Demise for go wide matchups, we turn on Ascend really easily, and then it's just like a one-sided way to deal with our opponent's stuff. Another Vicious Offering, Naturalized for artifacts and enchantments, a bunch of ways to protect our creature. Shaper Sanctuary for targeted removal, Heroic Intervention for sweepers. Argo's Bloodfest isn't really protection, but if we're playing a removal heavy matchup and our stuff is dying, just let's us draw cards, draw more saplings, draw cards, draw more saplings. The sacrifice can even be relevant if the game goes really, really long with Slimefoot. Duress and Lost Legacy for control, and that is Saperlings for standard, and that's our budget magic deck for this week. So, I know on paper, Saperlings look weird. There's a lot of commons, a lot of uncommons, a lot of the cards don't jump off the page like, oh, it's so powerful. You have my Saffords and random token producers, but if you play the deck, and I think you'll see this in our videos, it's actually a lot more powerful than it looks because we have eight two mana lords which is a great number for a standard deck and then we have tender shoot dryad which is just the nuts in this deck it is so incredibly good in this deck because we consistently have a center dot by turn five and then if we can protect it with blossoming defense or if our opponent spends their removal killing our spore crown phalads our metallic mimics then all of a sudden we just have an unbeatable card like making that token every turn is so hard to beat we got decent removal so i think you're going to be surprised at just how competitive Sapperlings actually are in standard because I was surprised that the deck was better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be fun but kind of middling and it was a little bit better than I thought. So anyway let's get to the gameplay so you can see how it works. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Alright budget magic time. Tr playing some green black sapperlings in standard and we can make a lot of tokens. They're all 1-1s one at the moment, but we can make many of them. So hopefully that's good. Forest go. Opponent. Irrigated farmland. Ugh, that means wraths, most likely. Play Woodland Cemetery. Play Sapperling Migration. Pass the turn. Opponent. Plains. Ooh, Adorn Pouncer. Interesting. We'll play Woodland Cemetery... I guess we just pass and try to Vicious Offering and catch an enchantment. Glacial Fortress. Cartouche. All right. Well, come on. No spell pierces, please. No kicker needed. Oh, God. Wow. All right. All right. All right. Life is horrible. Main deck spell pierces. Okay. Opponent gets in for four. Well, come on, another removal spell, please, deck. You can do it. Hour of Glory, maybe? It's not. It's a forest. Well, get in with our Sapperlings. I don't think we're going to be able to race this without drawing more removal. That Spell Pierce was brutal. Maybe we should have main phased it. Ah, spell Pierce main deck, though. There can't be many of the main deck Spell Pierces. Trial of Solidarity, going to pump the Pouncer gonna take eight and we're getting to the removal or bust oh play sprout swarm gotta draw a removal spell gotta draw a removal spell this turn down to 12 down to eight sacred cat well come on removal play metallic mimic probably too late on sapperling play a forest play safford well, we made a lot of tokens, but that spell pierce. 
if our opponent didn't have the spell pierce, I think we win. But they had it in the main. Pass the turn. So now we're dead to anything that pumps a Dorn Pouncer. Yeah, what do you got, opponent? Sheffit Dunes. That by itself doesn't kill us this turn. Cycles, looking for the kill spell. Opponent gets in for four in the air. Yep. Well, one more chance to draw removal. Legion's Landing makes a token. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Oh, that doesn't do it. We can hit for a lot, but it's not enough. Oh, man. This was a pretty good hand, too. This was actually a great hand, but it's not quite enough to beat this Adorn Pouncer. Wow. Hmm. All right. Well, you can see the power of the Sapperling deck. Like, this is a pretty a pretty reasonable start. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Uh, we should probably just scoop. There's <sighs> Opponent's thinking. There's no way our opponent doesn't go for it. Because going for it just means attacking. But I get we'll, I guess we'll let it keep going. Yep. Hmm. Alright. Ah, uh, the spell pierce. Alright, opponent puzzles it out, and uh, we'll pass. Maybe they decide not to attack for some reason. <laughs> you never know. Curious obsession. Sure. Yep. Goes to combat. And attacks. Well, opponent got us. Somehow. I guess three spell pierces in the main is not that uncommon. So bring in Golden Demise. Bring in Vicious Offering. Maybe Naturalize? Or Duress? Go down Blossoming Defense. Doesn't really do much of anything. Go down Fungal Plots. Maybe go down a Death Bloom. The question is Naturalize. Uh, or duress. The question is, can we bring in duress? Let's bring in a duress for the death bloom and just try it like that. All right, deck. All right. This feels like, oh man, this should be a good matchup. They only have 12 creatures. They're very chumpable outside of cartouche of knowledge. Our opponent just had the exact perfect start. All right. Well, let's make some sapperlings. Forest goo. We don't have removal, but we can make some big sapperlings pretty quickly. Bone it. Tap land. Yep. Ooh, there's Tender Shoot. Well, play Field of Ruin. Play Metallic Mimic. On Sapperling. Gonna make these sapperling migrations pretty powerful if it sticks. Deck doesn't typically play that much removal. Some in the sideboard, probably. Island. And a SROM. Well, a way to kill SROM would be nice. Opponent passes. Play a forest. Play sapperling migration. Get in with mimic. We might just get get SROMed card advantage out of the game. Hit our opponent to 18. Pass the turn. Chef at Dunes. Baffling end. Going to get our metallic mimic. Yep. And authority of the consoles. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, play Field of Ruin, play Spore Crown Thalid, play Sapperling Migration, get in for six. Man, we just we just want to draw land now. If we can draw land and get down Tender Shoe and make all these tokens huge, then we're in pretty great shape. All right, opponent, how will you boggle us? Sacred Cat, okay, not a boggle. Or not a aura. Yet at least. A Danto Vanguard. Alright, opponents on the all creature draw. Oh, come on, land. Come on, land. All oh, this tender shoot would be so good. It would immediately have a send. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Tender shoot is probably just game winning. Opponent. Getting in Witzrom. Alright, come on, tender shoot. Come on, tender shoot. Any land deck. All right, gets in with Sram. We take it. Land for the win. Well, untap land, not foul orchard. Mimic. Hmm. Well, let's go attacking. See what our opponent does. Opponent blocks. All right, blocks. And all right, that's it. Drops to seven. Well, play metallic mimic. On sapperling. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. 
Come on, no big combo turns. Cycles, that's a good sign. So you can see this Boggles deck. It seems like our opponent sideboarded in a ton of cards and the end result is they just did not draw enough auras. They probably took out some of their auras and then kind of fizzled. So that went pretty well. That went pretty well. We will, <laughs> we will accept that win. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, I think we run it back like that. Run it back, see what happens. All right. Uh, we're on the draw. I think we keep this. We can turn one to rest. Metallic Mimic, Metallic Mimic. And if we draw our lands for these Sprout Swarms, they should be pretty massive. See what our opponent leads with. Tap land. Okay. So we just want lands mostly. Uh, Tender Shoot is our most expensive card. Duress our opponent. Baffling and Slash of Talons, Squire's Devotion. I guess we gotta take Squire's Devotion. It means we're gonna lose Metallic Mimic to Baffling End, but our opponent scried to the top, which almost certainly means they kept a creature. Or not. Lands? All right, it's a land. So Woodland Cemetery, play Metallic Mimic. On Sapperling. We still would like to draw a removal spell. That would make us happy island for our opponent and there's the baffling end yep well come on more lands more lands more lands field of ruin works so play a forest metallic mimic part two on sapperling and now we're pretty close to having a great draw of if we draw one more land in the next two turns we get to field of ruin Next turn, Spore Swarm. Land? Oh, it's a land. It's a land. All right, play the forest. No attacks. We know about Slash of Talons. So Spore Swarm, make three one ones, which are actually two twos because of Metallic Mimic. Untap Tender Shoot Dryad. Well, Spore Swarm. Play a Swamp. Tender Shoot Dryad. And that's 10 permanents. Yeah, I guess we go with Metallic Mimic too. Get in there. Opponent takes it, down to four, and Sapperlings, Sapperlings doing its thing. Opponent needs a Fumigate. They need land Fumigate. Please no land Fumigate. That was the draw. And opponent scoops it up. Whoo, taking down Boggles. That feels like it's a pretty good matchup overall. We were really close in game one, and then game two and three. The Sapperlings have a lot of power. Those curves, when you can immediately play and ascend a Tender Shoot Dryad, are really insane. It is really powerful. All right, budget magic time. Playing some green black Sapperlings in standard. And this hand's interesting. Foul Orchard Go. We up against a control deck with the squiggly, squiggly island. Drowned catacombs. Prophetic prism. Hmm. Some sort of artifact deck? Well, let's play fungal plots. Pass the turn. We'll see how this works. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. I'll play a forest. Play migration. We get some sapperlings, pass the turn. Alright, fatal push, so let's just cash in. Actually, hmm. Alright, yeah, let's draw a card. Draw a card, game two. Not a land. I'm a little worried about Tezzeret, Spire of Industry. There's a Tezzeret. That is going to be a huge issue. Oh boy. Not looking good, boys and girls. Not looking even a little good. Safford, pass the turn. One of the downsides of being budget is Veraska's Contempt is Hour of Glory. Hour of Glory is fine at killing gods. It is pretty bad at killing Tezzerets. Which means I'm not sure how we get this off the battlefield, honestly. Opponent's got something huge. Oh, boy. Herald of Anguish. Yep. We will discard a Hour of Glory. Untap. Not a land. So Vicious offering the Herald. Get in at Tezzeret. I mean, this is our only kind of hope, is to just beat through Tezzeret. Now, Blossoming Defense. 
Hit Tezzeret. Down to three. Pass the turn. Opponents gain in life. Ether Sphere Harvester. No crew members yet. There's a crew member. Ugh. Kills are Safford. Yikes. Well, come on, land. Come on, land. Not a land. I'll play Metallic Mimic. Yeah, if we could have played two things here, we might have had a shot. But with only one play, we are super far buried. Ethereum Zell. Yeah, opponent's got infinite mana. Oh, dear. They drew another one. Oh, my God. Herald of Anguish. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cruise up. Yeah. How do we beat a Tezzeret? I think the answer might be we don't. Gets in with Aether Sphere Harvester. We'll discard Metallic Mimic. If we don't draw a land here, we're conceding. All right, we're conceding. We can't even kill Herald of Anguish. So, yeah, we're just, we're 100% dead there. Well, that was, uh, that was a brutal one. Brutality. So, against our opponent's deck. Oh, man. Really missing Planeswalker removal. Let's bring in some, I guess, some duresses. Hmm. Yeah. Go down Death Bloom Thalid. Maybe go up Shaper Sanctuary for Blossoming Defense. Hour of Glory does not seem good enough here. Let's go down Hour of Glory, up a Bloodfast. And try it like that, I guess. All right. We get to play first. And all right. I mean, I guess this is a reasonable hand. We'll see. Swamp go. This feels like a super challenging matchup. Swamp for our opponent. And the Renegade map. Well, Woodland Cemetery. Play Metallic Mimic. On Sapperling. Pass the turn. Opponent. Swamp. And Walking Ballista. Well, play Arch. Play Spore crown thalid go attacking oh ooh, chump interesting huh so our opponent have a sweeper in hand that's a odd line they might not have realized that metallic mimic would be getting pumped oh and they have a sweeper in hand i see well come on deck give us lands fungal plots boo well play metallic mimic <laughs> Hmm. Kind of starting to feel like the first game where we just got mana screwed. Or got, I guess three lands isn't mana screwed, mana screwed. But got stuck on land, so we couldn't play our bigger stuff. <laughs> Zalid. That's, uh, that's big and problematic. There's a land. Well, play Fungal Plots, I guess. Not sure how we beat this 5-6 flyer. Not bad for four mana. It is massive. Opponent has fatal push. Yep. And we're in all kinds of trouble. Hmm. Mana's not lining up. Yeah, pass the turn. Hey, this has been a rough one. Well, oh no. Is this Tezzeret? I mean, we're playing Sapperling Tribal, so we can't complain too much. Walking Ballista. Well, make a sapperling. Uh, untap. <sighs> yeah. All right. Uh, I guess we should have just killed this first. I think our only way of ever beating this Zalid, though, is to draw two vicious offerings. And now that plan is not a plan that can actually happen. Oh, we're so pinched on mana. Well, play the Thalid. Pass the turn. Opponent gets in for five, down to eight. Yep, and passes. We draw land. Yeah, I mean, play tender shoot, I guess. Go attacking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should have held on to that vicious offering so at least we had an out. Down to three. 
Mega Zapperling. Play a Swamp. Play Metallic Mimic. On Zapperling. Attack with everything. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. Pass the dirt. Opponent cracks Renegade map. We get a Zapperling. Wow. All right, opponent scoops it up. Interesting. I mean, their hand was <laughs> a bit Zalid heavy. Um, Were they dead, though? I mean, we're at three. They have a huge flyer. We would have to make a Zapperling. Sack four Zapperlings to stay alive? I guess if they don't attack, then we... I don't think we we're dead, but we'll take it. We'll take it, we'll take it. Well, Hour of Glory, re returning to our deck, sends uh, Zalid. Zalid is a thing. Let's go down one Vicious Offering. Maybe we go down one Duress. And, ugh. Yeah, try it like that. Hmm. Two lands. Uh, I mean, this is a kind of hand we gotta keep. Island for our opponent. And Renegade map. Hopefully we draw some more lands. So we can play Safford on time. Ugh. Woodland Cemetery. Well, it's a land. I guess we can't complain. Could use a basic to play our stuff untapped. Opponent cracks. Swamp. And Contraband Kingpin. We'll play Arch. Play Migration. Pass the turn. Kingpin is a pretty good blocker. Opponent. Island. And Ether's Fear Harvester. Gonna do a bit of scrying. Alright, alright, alright. Scries to the bottom. Get some energy. Opponent. Passes. We'll play Woodland Cemetery. Play Thalid. Really hoping to dodge Untap Black Source Golden Demise. That would literally be our demise. Alright, no Untap Black Source. Sorceress Spyglass. Huh. That's an odd choice against our deck. I guess looking at our hand is good. Untap Land would be super helpful here. I guess our opponent probably just wants to scry. Name's Fungal Plots. That's a, a good name. Scries to the bottom. Servo Schematic. Yep. Well, come on, untap land. So we can go Spore, Crown, and Sapperling Migration. And actually get close to playing Tender Shoe. Scries and Scries to the bottom, to the bottom. Opponent. Passing. Come on, deck. Untap land. That works. Untap land. So Field of Ruin. Play Spore Crown Thalid. Hmm. Let's go attacking. Opponent crews. Blocks, blocks. Well, Vicious Offering, Ether Sphere. Kill Ether Sphere. Pass the turn! Oh, man. One more untap land deck. One more untap land for Tender Shoot. There's Zalid. Oh, come on, deck. Give us this untap land. Untap land. Opponent passes. Yes, untap land. And this is kind of where we want to be. Tender Shoot Dryad comes down. Blessing achieved. Pass the turn. We can't attack yet. Make a Zapperling. Opponent. Walking Ballista X2 gets to scry. X2 is not that big, though. Bottoms. Oh, it kills our Tender Shoot. All right, yeah. That is annoying. Opponent. Getting in with the flyer. Alright, we'll take it. Down to 15. Ooh, slimy. Well, attack with everything. Opponent blocks. Play some Wrath Protection in Slimefoot. Play Sapperling Migration. Pass the turn! Pass the turn! So I think a Wrath kills... No, it puts our opponent... Yes, it kills our opponent. Are we stealing the win? Battle at the bridge. Alright. Gains our opponent a bunch of life. Kills a lord. Opponent passes. Do we attack with everything? I think we attack with all of our sapperlings. 
Opponent blocks. Blocks. Alright. So hit our opponent to six. Pass the turn. Slimy? Walking Ballista. X2. Scries. Opponent. No attacks. Well, let's Sprout Swarm. Spore Swarm. More Zapperlings. Ping Spore Crown. Ping Spore Crown. Yup. Does this do it? Forest. Well, play the Forest. Go to combat. I think this is Exaxes. Blocks, blocks. And our post scoops it up! We got there! Oh my goodness! Oh, Zapperlings! Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think there was a chance, but there was, and we got there. Uh, wow. Okay, sweet. All right, budget magic time. Dominaria is here, and we are playing uh, some green, black sapperlings. And we got two metallic mimics, which are sapperlings. <laughs> we don't have any actual sapperlings. Hopefully we draw, if we can just draw a sapperling token maker... With two metallic mimics, that's pretty sweet. So, Swamp Goo. Our glory is fine. Kind of our budget Veraska's Contempt. See what our opponent's doing over there. Name is, I usually play aggro. <laughs> so let's see if that's a next level name and they're actually a control player trying to trick us. Or if it's an honest name and they're playing aggro. <laughs> I guess it says usually. Well, Woodland Cemetery, Metallic Mimic into ye old fatal push on Zapperling. Pass the turn. Ooh, not dead yet. Another swamp. And... Alright. Dead metallic mimic. Opponent passes. Hmm. Play woodland cemetery. Yeah, let's keep going. Play mimic. On Zapperling. Hopefully this one sticks, because we drew a separately migration. If this is mono black, they probably have infinite amounts of removal. Gifted Aetherborn. Okay, that's not removal. Ooh, are we going to actually get to make some Sapperlings? Play the Swamp. Sapperling migration. Resolves. Pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... So in theory, if nothing goes horribly wrong here, Tender Shoe make a token on our opponent's upkeep, turns on Ascend, and makes these 5-5s. Five of course, removal ruins that plan. Opponent. Okay. Getting frisky. Well, we will take your two, opponent. Down to 18. Supernatural Stamina. Is this like Vicious Offering, Sack Gifted Etherboard? I guess that's a combo. Oh, alright. Well, that's fine. Well, play Swamp. Play Tender Shoot. Unfortunately, we won't turn on Ascend until our turn. So, if this Tender Shoot lives, it should just win us the game. That's the question, though. So, we get a Zapperling on our opponent's upkeep. It's a 1-1. One, one. Alright, no removal. No Chupacabras. Leave our Tender Shoot alone. Oh, my God. The infinite removal. Yep. Opponent. Passing. Oh, no! Oh, there's the Blossoming Defense. Well, get rid of this Gifted Aetherborn. Go attacking. Oh, if we had one more turn, we could have protected this Tender Shoe. Well, hopefully we draw another Tender Shoe. Opponent does have a lot of removals. Play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. So at this point, essentially any non-land in our deck is going to be pretty good. Tender Shoot's best. Any of the big Sapperling makers are pretty sweet, because we can make a lot of bodies. Because we can, like, kick, migration, dream stealer. Sure. Opponent, passing. Well, play Metallic Mimic on Sapperling. And I guess we keep attacking. Attack, attack. We are kind of an aggro deck. Opponent takes it down to nine. All right, pass the turn. We might have to double block in Blossoming Defense, or else we'll lose Blossoming Defense anyway. All right, Dreadshade. Opponent, no attacks. Uh, all right, deck, give us something sweet. 
Sprout Swarm is pretty good. So let's just pass the turn. Now we can Sprout Swarm, which is going to make a lot of power and toughness, and we still have Blossoming Defense. Gifted Etherborn. Yup. Man, now if we find Tender Shoot Dryad. Opponent's thinking about attacking. Knight of Malice. All right, down to one card. Well, let's Sprout Swarm. Come on, deck. Something else. Oh, all right. Uh, let's kick a Sapperling Migration. Make four tutus. <laughs> all right, opponent. Well, it's on you. I think we have a decent chance of winning next turn. Opponent. Plague Belcher. Yep, that's fine. Counters on the Dream Stealer. Sure. Opponent. Passing. We draw. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Tender Shoot Dryad. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Uh, yeah. We'll attack with everything. And what do you say, opponent? What do you say? <laughs> Our city is blessed. Well, that actually felt pretty good for Green Black Zapper Legs, I have to say. And our opponent, yeah, scoops it up. <laughs> well, sideboarding probably gets a little sketchier because our opponent can likely bring in something like uh, Golden Demise, which is really good against our deck and doesn't care about Heroic Intervention. Maybe we bring in Argus Bloodfast. I think we go Bloodfast Vicious Offering. Go down Hour of Glory. And then maybe bring in the Shaper's Sanctuaries over, hmm, what are we cutting? Well, let's go down like one Slime Foot, one Death Bloom, and one Blossoming Defense. Try it like that. So that doesn't really save us from Sweepers, but it does give us a lot of resilience to targeted removal. Well, that was pretty good for the Zapperlings. All right. I mean, come on, no sweepers. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, no sweepers. Land for our opponent. And passes. Well, Swamp, go. Opponent. Swamp. And passing. Well, play a forest. I guess we just mimic. I'm sure it's going to die, but... On Sapperling. Pass the turn. Uh, dying at instant speed. All right. Vicious Offering. Swamp for our opponent. And there's the Shade. Opponent passes. Oh, there's Shaper Sanctuary. Well, play Woodland Cemetery. Play Shaper Sanctuary. Play Sapperling Migration. Pass the turn. The Shade is going to be a problem. Swamp for our opponent. Gifted Aetherborn. Yep. Gets in with Shady. And we'll take it. Down to 17. Opponent passes. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Golden Demise. Yup. Yup, yup. Well, we didn't get blown out as much as we were afraid of by Golden Demise. Knight of Malice. Oh, please attack. Please attack with the Shade. Oh, please do it. You gotta get that one damage. They don't. All right. Well, there is good news. We get to Sprout Swarm, make three tokens, untap, play a land, play a Tender Shoot Dryad with Ascend, I believe. Yup, City's Blessing! And, uh... Yeah, let's go attacking. Get in some damages. Now our opponent really needs another removal spell. If they don't have another removal spell... Tender Shoot Dryad's just going to win this game. That is the power of Tender Shoot Dryad. Like, if it dies, it's sad. But if it lives, good God, is it good. Another Golden's Demise is kind of a blowout. Opponent. Getting in with the Shade. Well, we're going to chump. We can't take 10 or whatever this is. It is a large number. Yup. Come on, no removals. No removals. Last card. Plague Belcher! All right, Tender Shoot's living. Oh, Tender Shoot is so good. Oh, when it lives, when it lives. Well, now I feel great about where we're at because we're at least going to get two more 3-3s three from this Tender Shoot. Well, play Death Spore Thalid. Play Foul Orchard. 
go attacking. We are going to lose a sapperling, but eh, whatever. We got to get in damage somehow. Opponent blocks, blocks. Well, this has been pretty good for green black sapperlings. I have to say, Tendershoot is just doing work. All right, walk the plank. Going to kill Tendershoot. That is obnoxious. We do get to draw a card. Ooh, Slimy! We found Slimy. Slimefoot is actually super good here. Opponent's gonna get frisky. Um, yeah, we got a chump. Yeah, let's just sapperling chump. Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess we can take seven. Yeah, let's take seven. Whatever. Opponent's not gonna pump? All right. Maybe they're afraid of removal, but they don't have any cards in hand. Opponent passes. Slimefoot is pretty good protection for another sweeper. Ooh, and Arch. Play Arch, Veraska. Play Slimefoot. Play Safford. And I think we just go attacking. Like, we lose stuff, but with Slimefoot out, as we lose stuff, we're still draining our opponent. Yup. So we hit for three. We drain. We get another Sapperling. We drain for one. Opponent's down to five. And now if they draw a sweeper, they just lose. So they can't even... They would have to kill Slimefoot before they sweep our board. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. So we attack with everything. Well, I guess we just kick this Sapperling migration. Pass the turn. We could use our... Is it Fungal Bloom? The ability to sacrifice our sapperlings that would let us get like the aristocrat kill would would slimy so if we attack we don't win yeah let's pass we're in pretty good shape with the saper sanctuary giving us protection too or at least drawing us cards if our opponent kills stuff opponent finds a land and we even start drawing extra cards with arch opponent passing woodland cemetery so we attack with everything opponent goes up to six they block four. Yeah, that should work. Play Woodland Cemetery. Go to combat. So just attack with everything except Slimefoot, and I think this wins us the game. And opponent, yep, just going to take it. They realize it's over, and Greenback Slapperlegs taking down Mono Black. Uh, yeah. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> pretty good for the Saps. All right, Budget Magic time. Playing some Green Black Sapperlings. Uh, we're gonna try this we have our one colorless land and no green mana but we do have metallic mimic so we don't really need green mana until turn three so hopefully green source in the next two turns or else life is sad all right there's a green source so woodland cemetery metallic mimic on sapperling i think yeah let's sapperling pass the turn one mind another green source scavenger grounds and search for his uh control Come on, green source. Ooh, well, Arch of Araska, Metallic Mimic, on Sapperling. Get in with Metallic Mimic. Maybe we can just get there with Mimic Beats with these two Blossoming Defenses. I really want to draw green mana before we don't... Oh, no land? Oh, boy. This is looking up. Green mana? Lord. Well, they can't Wrath this turn, so let's let's play Phalad. Go attacking. 4-7. And we might just be getting the ultra aggro Lord beatdown hand. Opponent untaps. I think if we untap with Blossoming Defense, we just win. Or sh oh, Mills Field of Ruin. And opponent scoops it up. Whoo! Well, that's why you hit your land drops when you're playing control, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, okay. So, control, blue, white. We don't really know what build. I think we definitely want Dereza's. Probably going to go down Vicious Offerings. We probably want Shaper Sanctuaries. Do we just go down all of our removal? Go down Hour of Glory? Man, we could get very punished for this. And we want the Heroic Intervention. Maybe over a Safford? I mean, I guess we try it like this? Yeah, let's try it like that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We didn't get to see much of our opponent's deck. They could be, like, trying to win with Approach. Or they could have a bunch of creatures that we don't know about. So it's hard to say. Fungal plot seems pretty good. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, maybe we're just super far off and our opponent's playing some sort of Bant mid-range list. 
Tap land. Oh, this is... All right. This is nowhere near what we were thinking. Let's play Spore Crown. Pass the turn. Tap land. Baffling end. All right. Yep, can't really stop that. Woodland Cemetery. Well, let's use our mana, play Slimefoot, pass the turn. All right, opponent's ramping. Yeah, I don't know how this works. Gets an island. Come on, land. Woodland Cemetery. All right, so we get to play Spore Crown Thalid, get in with Slimefoot. <sighs> and I think we got to pass. We can't get hit by a Fumigate here. Ip new Rivulet. Our promise. Eh, okay, that's kind of that's kind of annoying. I wonder what the big top end of this deck is and how much it's going to wreck us. Gets the deserts, gets the zombies. Opponent passes. Uh, well, let's pass the turn and see what happens. Not gonna attack with slime foot. Opponent's got tons and tons of mana. Ixalan's binding. All right, we'll let that go. We only have one more slime foot. Opponent's passing. Well, let's attempt to spore swarm. Untapped. Play Field of Ruin. Do some attacking. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Well, play Migration. Pass the turn. I think we got to keep leaving up Heroic Intervention. Field of Ruin for our opponent. Fortunately, all our creatures are exiled, so we can't actually make tokens field of ruin our field of ruin okay that's pretty fine grab a forest opponents passing well play fungal plots play a swamp go attacking i think we just get in with two we don't really want to get got by settle the wreckage hit our opponent to 11 pass the turn uh-oh all right opponents drawing two that's fine now, at least with this fungal plots out, we have a way to kind of fizzle removal. Like, if our opponent's just going to try to kill our stuff, we can sack stuff to turn it into new cards. Cast out. All right, let's see what this is targeting. Fungal plots. All right, we got another one. Yep. And fumigate? All right. All right, all right. Oh, give us a lord. If we draw a lord, we win. If we draw a lord, we just straight up win. Come on, Lord. Give us another Spore Crown. Or a Tender Shoot. Forest. Oh, play Fungal Plots. Does not just win us the game. Hit our opponent. Down to two. Oh, we're so close. Oh, pass the turn. Oh my goodness, we're close. Land for our opponent. And passing. Oh, that's a draw. That's a draw. Duress you. Get that settle. Take the settle. So Pony has pull from tomorrow. So I think we just attack with two sapperlings. This plays around cast out. All right, attack with two sapperlings. So this forces our opponent to do a mini pull to try to hit another settle the wreckage. Pull X4. Come on, no settle. No settle. We beat cast out. Come on, no settles. Pony hasn't scooped yet. Oh, no. They actually drew it? Oh, they did. Wow. Well, opponent got a smidge lucky. Play Death Bloom Thalid. Pass the turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully we can grind this out. Opponent's back up to five cards in hand. Discarded a spring to mine. So we know there's a baffling end. We know there's a search for his Kanta. Arch of Araska. Draws two cards. Come on. Come on. Thematic compass. How does our opponent not die here? Baffling end. Is this our opponent giving up? Did we get there? Goes after our lord. Well, let's... Oh, we can't sack that. It's not a sapperling. All right. Opponent. Wow. This puts our opponent to one, and we whiffed? Oh, my goodness! No! No! Oh, not like this deck. Not like this. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. And now I don't even think we're favored. Oh, my. Cycles. It looks like we get our opponent to one and then lose. Although, our opponent is desperately digging. Oh, and they hit it! No! Oh, my God. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, this is this isn't right. This isn't right. A uh, deck! And we draw a useless land! Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh! Well, this one's gonna go down as a win in our hearts, because our opponents went runner, 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 like four turns in a row. Yes, they have drawn extra cards, but they've still, they've had to get pretty insanely lucky multiple turns in a row. But, I mean, that's magic. Hour of Promise, and yeah, now I think it's just straight up over. I don't think we can win from here. Okay. Search for his contact and a flip, and yeah, we're to the point of scooping at with our opponent at one life. Well, play Safford. Not that it does anything. Oh, man. Play a forest. Pass the turn. Opponent draws a card. Yep. Cycles. Sure. Search for his contact flips. Yep. Wow. I'm stunned. I, I am stunned. Flip search. Another compass. Springs. Opponent. Passes. Flips the compass. We draw. Another Safford. Well, keep playing creatures. Pass the turd. Wow. Oh, man. Opponent. Looks like a mind. Draw some more cards. And then draws with Arch. Yep. Uh-huh. Cycles. Opponent. Baffling End. Hits our Death Bloom. Uh-huh. Sure. Another compass. All four compasses achieved. Gideon of the Trials. Takes up. Opponent. Passing. Flipping. Well, Metallic Mimic. Sure. We'll play it. Why not? On Sapperling. Pass the turn. Opponent's gonna do some drawing. Oh, uh, yep. Search for his Kanta. Ah, uh, this is a demoralizing loss. Fumigate. Well, there's a sweeper. Draws another card. I guess we're hoping our opponent somehow draws themselves to death. Doesn't seem super likely. Untaps. They gotta have some sort of finisher. Takes up on Metallic Mimic. Scavenger Grounds. More Hour of Promises. Opponent. Passes. We draw. Man. Ixalan's Binding. Well, we can bring in Naturalizes. If we had known our opponent was going to have this many enchantment-based removal spells, we would have already brought them in. Oh, Slimefoot would be exactly the card we needed. I'm not sure what our opponent's doing. Mills us. Okay. I guess this is a point where they try to mill us out. I think it takes more than just this turn, though. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to beat their hand is the problem. Untaps. Down to 24 cards. Plays a land. This is probably the Fumigate turn, I would assume. Takes up. Yep. Opponent. Passing. Well, let's start making Sapperlings. Tendershoe. Exiled. Mimic exiled. Spore crown exiled. So I think our hope is to draw duress. Safford. Draw a card. We got to find a duress. Tender shoot. Hmm. Play Safford. Sack. Sack. Play a swamp. Exile. Death bloom. Sack. Sack. Swamp. Pass the turn. Yeah, now we get milled out. Mills. Yeah, nah, we're just going to concede here. We can't stop ourselves from getting milled out. And we'll bring in the Naturalizes. Go down... I guess a Death Spore and a... Blossoming Defense. Let's try it like that. Wow, that is the saddest of losses. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, all right. Pull together for game three. We can get there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. We get to play first. And looks like we got to start with a mulligan. Not ideal. All right. Well, here we go. Tender shoot. Got to go bottom, I think. Forest, go. Opponent. Tap land. Oh, play a swamp. Play Spore Crown Thalid. Pass the turn. 
opponent oasis and passes well play migration play foul orchard get in with our salad and pass the turn opponent cycles a cast out can we race the sweepers rivulet search for Escanta. Ooh, duress is pretty helpful play a forest attack with everything hit our opponent down to 11 this might do it there's a chance there's a chance that this is going to let us win here or we're going to end up just short and i'm going to be very sad i feel like we're going to hit our opponent to one again planes well play sprout swarm untap duress our opponent there's a cast out okay takes our salad what do they have in hand this is the moment of truth Baffling end, Hour of Promise, naturalize, Hour of Promise. Oh, they're gonna, if they hit a sweeper. So I think we just take Baffling End. We win through Hour of Promise. We win through Naturalize. Take Baffling End. Naturalize the cast out. Hit our opponent to one. And our opponent has to find a sweeper on the top of their deck with Search for his Kanta. If we lose it one life with our opponent at one again. Mills Hour Promise. Play Shevet Dudes. Oh, we got there. We got there. Shevet Dudes was their draw for the turn. They had they had the other desert. And our post scoops it up. Oh, there we go. There we go. The duress, the fast clock. That's a pretty quick clip. <laughs> a pretty quick clock for Sapper Legs. All right. Uh, sweet. All right, the deck can work. The deck can work. The heartbreak of round two or game two is forgotten with the aggro beatdown. Whoo, sweet. All right, budget magic time. Playing some green black sapperlings in standard. And this hand's pretty excellent. Double metallic mimic into sapperling makers. So, cemetery go. Double metallic mimic means all of our creatures are going to be pretty big. Opponent, forest, land of where elves. Land of Elves is a pretty scary card. When you see that come down, it's pretty good. So let's just Metallic Mimic on Saproling. Eh, on Saproling. There might be some argument to naming Fungus, since both Deathbloom and Slimefoot are Fungus, but I think in the long run, we're still going to be better off sapping it up. Wouldn't mind our opponent playing a non-basic, so we can actually turn this Field of Ruin into a real land. Green belt, green belt. Looks like our opponent's just gonna triple green belt here. So while green belt looks like a one mana three four, it's actually a three mana three four. And but three mana three four is still not a bad card in standard. Ooh. Hmm. Well, let's play Field of Ruin. Play Metallic Mimic on Sapperling. Get a counter. Pass the turn. Opponent away says yes, yes. It's a dark. No, don't sack it. Ooh, Steel Leaf Champion. That's big. Well, we really want to just draw any land here. Any land here and we're happy, because then we can turn this into a colored source and also play Spore Crown. Ugh, just kidding. By any land, I mean not Foul Orchard. Well, let's play Death Bloom Salad. Play Foul Orchard, pass the turn. Opponents down to two cards. Wonder what removal they have. Mono Green Stompy with Steel Leaf and Llanowar Elves seems like it got a lot better. Oh my goodness! We have very few ways of killing a Galta. That might just... Wow. But yeah, that might be just the straight up death of us. How do we deal with a Galta? I guess maybe some sort of Sapperling token maker? So we can... Go wide? Hmm... <laughs> Opponent goes attacking, so let's just chump. Yeah, let's chump. Get a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, what do we draw? Opponent passes. Cemetery. Well, that's Field of Ruin Oasis. Grab a forest. Play Spore Crown Thalid. Play Woodland Cemetery. Pass the turn. I think we'd be good if it wasn't for this Galta. But because of this Galta, I'm not seeing how we don't lose to it. I guess we gotta draw our promise, basically, this turn. Opponent. 
Gets in with Galta. Yeah, I mean, we got to take it. Come on. <laughs> our promise. And our opponent having nothing. More Rampagers. So many Rampagers. Wow. Literally so many Rampagers. Yup. Bounces. Picks up. Bounces. Bounces. Maybe if we draw one of our big Sapperling token producers, Foul Orchard. So we play Tender Shoe. We make a Sapperling. Well, I mean, I don't think we're hiding anything, so let's run it out. Play Tender Shoe. Play Foul Orchard. Pass the turn. I don't know if this lets us survive because of the Galta, though. So we get a Sapperling. It's huge. Maybe? Maybe, maybe there's a world where this is good enough? Oh, man. You can see the power of the deck. If it wasn't for Galta, we'd be in great shape. This is assuming our opponent is not holding removal. So block, 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 block. So we double block Galta with Sapperlings. This block's here. This block's here. This block's here. This block's here. And we go to one. I mean, I guess if our opponent does not have removal or a pump spell, I guess we're dead to a pump spell. Blossoming defense is probably the most likely way that we die. Opponent swings with everything. I don't think there's any way we can block around Blossoming Defense. So we block Galta, we block Galta, we block Rampager, we block Rampager, we... Oh, that can't block there. That doesn't work. All right. So unblock. We block Rampager, we block Steel Leaf, we block Rampager, we block War Elves and drop to one. So we're dead to Blossoming Defense. All right. Down to one, but we're alive. And we're alive with Tender Shoot. Oh, if Tender Shoot survives, that might keep us in this game. Wow. Are we going to survive a Galto with no removal? Oh my goodness. All right, Tender Shoot makes a token. Play Spore Crown Thalid. Play Slimefoot the Stowaway. Let's just pass. We're going to play Conservative for now. All of a sudden, I feel like we win the late game. With this Tender Shoot just making huge tokens oh my god who oh, turned for culta sapperlings i can't believe we're just not straight up dead oh well, that's our opponent got they shouldn't have direct damage in mono green all right <laughs> literally every rampager in the deck yep man i think we're favored now oh wow okay we're making Five fives every turd for free. Two every turd. Oh, another Galta. I think we can beat a Galta. I think we can beat a second Galta. Yup. Opponent passes. Removal would be pretty bad. Make a five five. Well, play Safford. Make a five five. Pass the turd. Tender Shoot Dryad is so absurd when it lives. And no attacks. Tender Shoot dying would be very bad for us. What did our opponent draw? I guess a random flyer would would be bad, like Aether Sphere Harvester. Ronus is last stand. That's fine. We can deal with that. I'm assuming our opponent can't attack. No attacks. Well, let's keep making five fives. Make a five five. Oh, and a vicious offering. Can we win here? So we kill the snake, let's say. We swing with our entire team. Opponent can block one, two, three, four. So they take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wait, we better double count this. Kill the snake by sacrificing the summoning six sapperling. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks metallic mimic. They block three sapperlings. So they take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20 yeah and i mean we get some drain damage too well let's kick a vicious offering on the snake token drain our opponent for one up to two and just swing with the crew no cards in hand no cards in yeah all right i think we did it i think we got there wow <laughs> we our separate leagues kept up with turn four galta turn five galta or something like that without any removal we just I just trumped Galta with Sapperlings. Opponent blocks, opponent blocks, opponent blocks, opponent blocks. Yup. 
And that should be lethal, unless we miscounted. Yup, we got there. Wow. <laughs> Taking down Mono Green Stompy. That was pretty impressive for our deck. Well, let's bring in Vicious Offering for another removal spell. Go down probably like a Blossoming Defense. And then we don't actually have... Maybe our Heroic Intervention over... Over what? Over Death Bloom? Let's try it like that. Heroic Intervention is a way we can block all their stuff and not lose our stuff, which seems good. And... Alright, this is fine. We got a touch of removal. Got some Zapperlings. Isn't great against... Turn 1 land or elves. Yup. Well, Swamp, go. Let's see how far behind we get here on turn number 2. Heart of Kirin. And more land or elves. Yup. This is feeling like a fast Galta. Hopefully they do not have Galta in hand. Oh, play a forest. Play Phalid. Pass the turn. Opponent. Oh man, double land or elves. <laughs> Five mana, turn three. Baronis is last stand. Are we just gonna see the mono green stompy nuts? Prey upon. Good god. Holy. If they have Galta too. I mean, even if they don't have Galta, we're in pretty bad shape. Opponent passes. Play a forest. Play Safford. Pass the turn. This has been a pretty impressive start for Mono Green. I guess double Lanowar Elves tends to do that. Opponent. Got something else. Something else big. Ballista X2. Cruise a Partikirin. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty dead. Kills our token. Gets in for a million. Yep. Down to seven. We draw land. Yeah. Well, this one didn't work out. This is not the dream. Dream for Mono Green, though. If this deck consistently gets hands like that, maybe Mono Green is legit. Because that is... That is a pretty ridiculous start. Especially for a deck without a ton of removal. Opponent, something else off the top. The good news is... We're on the play for game three, and on the play, Vicious Offering does take care of Land of War Elves. Yeah, there's no there's no coming back from this one. Whew! Well, Mono Green was looking pretty good in that one, I will say. Uh, can we afford to bring in Naturalize to deal with vehicles? Not super easily. Now, let's bring in one Naturalize. Go down one Fungal Plots. Try it like that. All right, we're on the play. I mean, I guess we keep it. We have a removal spell. It's a little bit slower than we'd like, just in general. We can kill a Hardikirin. We can kill a Galter or something. And then Tender Shoot with no removal, if it, our opponent doesn't have removal, is very good. So Swamp Go. Hopefully we draw some things to play in the early game. Opponent, do they have the Land of War Elves? Yup. <sighs> play Woodland Cemetery, pass the turn. Opponent, unfortunately for us, is 100% on having Land of War Elves on turn one. Oasis. Steel Leaf Champion. That's not good. Well, play Field of Ruin. Blow up Oasis. Grab a Forest. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we're just getting absolutely run over. Ugh. Yep. Well, if Land of War Elves lives, it's one of the best cards in Standard. And our deck is not great on at killing it on turn one, and our opponent's deck is very good at drawing it on turn one. So we're seeing the power of Lanowar Elves. Resilient Kendra. In a normal a normal standard or a normal deck, then this would be much less scary. Our opponent would be doing nothing, playing Steel Leaf Champion this turn. And we'd be like, oh sure, we're on the play, we spore swarm, we play tender shoot, things are pretty fine, but with this acceleration, it is very strong. There's the heart of Kirin. Yup. Things not getting better. Play a forest. I guess we pass the turn. I think we're pretty dead though. Forest for our opponent. Ronus is last stand. Okay. Cruise up heart of Kirin. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well, let's hour of glory i guess i think we're just dead though yep well mono green ah uh, looked good in that game good lord well yeah i mean i guess you can't win them all with zapperlings 
So what do we learn this week about sapperlings in Dominaria Standard and... The deck was pretty spectacular, so we played five matches on video, we won four of them, so finished with a four one, however, that comes with a slight asterisk, I actually ran into the Boggles deck, the Blue White Orza deck again, and lost. The interesting take on the second Boggles deck, the rematch that we didn't see, is they had Knight of Glory, and Knight of Glory was just, like, unbeatable for our deck. Uh, normally it would be fine if it was a 2-2, but once it got Wars on it, we just couldn't kill it, we couldn't block it once it got flying, and it was super, super miserable. So, overall, 4-2, which is pretty reasonable. As far as the deck, I feel like Sapperlings is actually a reasonably competitive tribe in Standard. The combination of having 8 2 mana lords and having a ton of cards that put multiple Sapperlings on the battlefield is really powerful, and Tendershoot Dryad is just the surprise all-star. It looks really fragile, but it often just comes down and wins the game in a turn or two, which is very powerful. So we get some really weird nut draws where we just play like a lord, a card that makes two sapperlings and hit for six, a card that makes three sapperlings and hit for lethal, and just like kill our opponent by turn four or turn five, so I have to say, I was pretty impressed with sapperlings. As far as changes that could be made to the deck, uh, I think that the big one is Fatal Push. With Llanowar Elves running around and ruining things in standard, I think we're going to need to figure out a way to get Fatal Push into the deck as far as upgrades. It's not super expensive, you probably have it anyway. Vicious Offering is good, but it would definitely definitely improve the deck to have that turn one removal spell. As far as the Sapperlings themselves, the Lords are great, the Sapperling token makers are great. Slimefoot was okay, uh, Death Bloom Thalid was probably our worst Sapperling. So overall, I feel like the deck's pretty solid, it can probably be improved more, and hopefully this is a tribe that gets more help when it comes to Corset 2019, because with an extra Sapperling or two, this deck could be very, very good in standard. So I was surprised at the power of the Sapperlings. Give it a shot if you're looking for a different take, a token friendly take on tribal in Dominaria standard, because it can actually be a surprisingly high number of decks. So anyway, that's been our budget magic for this week. Sapperlings for standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.